No one knows what tomorrow holds. I never know, and none of you do know. But I just wanted to say to you, brothers, I met you all since the day I, was, I started teaching here or elsewhere. I met all of you on, on, in the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we met each other for the khair that we wanted to learn from one another. And I don't say this out of humbleness. Inama huwa dhikrul haqiqa. It's the reality I'm trying to mention. I benefited from you more than you've benefited from me. Every one of you, sh I took something from him that he may not remember. I took from him and I learned from him. And I ask Allah wa ta'ala, Wallahi khwani, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that the people who loved one another for the sake of Allah, the day of judgment, they will be called, Allah will call those people from the ummah, from all the people. He will say, Aynal mutahabiyya fiya. Where are those who loved each other for my sake? Faliyoma today, I will give them the shade when there is no shade. I'll give them a shade when there is no shade. And I ask Allah wa ta'ala to give us shade when there is no shade. We need the shade that day. And the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, Sab'atun yadilluhum Allahu yawma la dhilla illa dhillu. Seven types of people. Allah is going to give them a shade when there is no shade. رَجُلَانِ تَحَابَّا فِي اللَّهِ اجْتَمَعَا وَتَفَرَّقَا عَلَيْهِ Two people who met each other on the sake of Allah. They lived with each other for the love of this religion. They stayed with each other for the sake of this religion. They tolerated one another for the sake of this religion. And they pushed this deen to go forward as much as they could. And whenever they, met, they went away from each other, they left each other with the love of this religion. Those are the people who are going to have the shade of Allah the Day of Judgment. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us in another hadith and Imam Muslim narrated in his Sahih that a man wanted to visit another man to one that lived in another village. The purpose in which he wanted to visit this man was the love that he had for him and he wanted to tell him. What happened was an angel came down and he asked this man, he said to him, are you going to visit this man because you love him? Or are you going to visit this man because you owe him money? Or is it because something he's done for you, trying to repay him back? He said, I'm, not, I'm visiting him because I love him for the sake of Allah. I'm going to visit him because I love him for the sake of Allah. There's no other reason. I'm traveling because the love of the sake of Allah that I love him for. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said in the hadith that the angel said to him, the way you love him for the sake of Allah, Allah has witnessed that Allah has forgiven you for what you've done, the sins that you've done and the sins you've committed. And this is an achievement he achieved through what? The love for the, for the sake of Allah. And it's something very big, just to love somebody for Allah's sake. And Allah meant, that's what we were meant to be as Muslims, love each other for the sake of Allah. And Wallahi, when I say to you, the teeth and the, and the tongue are the closest to And you're bound to bite yourself sometimes, sahih? And that's what the human beings are. The two closest people always bite each other, step over each other's foot. But let this thread and this concept always be in place that you love each other for the sake of Allah. Well, and the reason why I say this is because in a very short time, inshallah, I may leave. And my purpose of leaving is not just a very, very tall, temporary time. Inshallah, if it's for a permanent time, as I can't use that word, and I don't believe that word exists in terms of life, because there is no permanent. But I don't want to ever stay in this long in this country forever. But I wanted to say to you, Ikhwani, I really love you all for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I met you for that case. And if there's any one of you who have ever done any harm, something wrong to hurt him, I spoke to him in a very harsh manner, then I would want him to forgive me for the sake of Allah. Even if it's a person I did something wrong to, deliberately. Shaykh Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah, there was a man, he went by the name of Ibn Makhlouf al-Maliki. Ibn Makhlouf al-Maliki was an enemy to Shaykh Islam ibn Taymiyyah. He's the man who said, وَقُتُلُوا ibn Taymiyyah تَوَدَمُّ عَلَىٰ عُنُقِي Kill Ibn Taymiyyah and his blood is on my neck. Anybody who kills him, I'll speak on his behalf today of judgment. Meaning his blood is halal, kill him. When he died, Ibn Al-Qayyim came to Ibn Taymiyyah and he said, Abshir, Abshir, glad tidings, glad tidings. Your enemy is dead. Shaykh al-Islam, these people, they reach their level because of their actions. He said, Are you giving me the glad tidings 
of the death of a believer. Ibn Makhlouf and Maliki was the heads of the innovators. Then he went to the house of Ibn Makhlouf and Maliki's house and his wife and his children. And he said to them, from today onwards I want you to all witness that I am there for you like your father used to be. If you guys ever need anything or you require any manhood power, he, he smacked his chest and I said, I'm here for you. Don't ever worry. Just come to me. What was between your father and me is between us. But you guys, I love you all for the sake of Allah. Imma. They became leaders like that. Ilayomuna will remember them. Some people take it very small, very light, very easy. These are things that we get elevated through. Status is through this. So, Ikhwani, another thing is the righteousness and khair is not connected to people. No one should ever assume that if so and so goes, the khair will stop. If so and so goes, this will stop. Never did our religion connect with people. The best of people died. The best of people died. This earth is swallowed the best of people. Ali Sakadari, is not true. Did the religion stop? Allah didn't stop. Is there anyone better than the Prophet? Allah said, If this earth, Ikhwani, had the decency to swallow the Prophet, then anyone after that can die. We don't mind, inshallah. And the reality is, this religion, it never stopped for no one. And this religion, it doesn't stop for no one. And inshallah, one thing that I remember that one of the greatest scholars, Sheikh Al Albani, scholars, they, students, they asked him, Sheikh, are you, is, when you die, who's going to take your position in Al Hadith? Who are you going to give it to? And this is what he said, Wallahi, a powerful quote. He said, You guys all are better than Al Albani. You all are better than him. You carry better than him. So, Ikhwan, inshallah, Al Ilm Mubayna Talabat Al Ilm, knowledge is amongst us, the youngsters, the youth, the people of knowledge, students of knowledge. Ikhwan, be our fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wherever you are. You can be under the sea, upon the sea, wherever you are. Ikhwani, Allah can see you. Fear Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ikhwani, don't hang around with those who are not going to benefit you. Choose your friends wisely. Make sure they're the right people that you're around. Ikhwani, fear Allah behind closed doors the way you are be when you're in public. Fattakullah Azza wa Jal. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fa'amilin nasa bi khulukin hasan. And Ikhwani, treat the people in a nice way. Deal with them in a good way. And love one another for the sake of Allah. Don't become disunited in groups and move away from one another and everybody takes his own path and he takes his path. I finalize by saying, Ikhwani, Allah Azza wa Jalla, uhibbukum fillah. I put Allah as a witness that I all love you for the sake of Allah. As'aruhu Azza wa Jalla. I ask him subhanahu wa ta'ala with all sincerity that he all brings us together the day of judgment under that shade, under that liwa, under that flag of Islam.